everyone. People have been asking me how do I resize my photos in Lightroom. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you how I do it. You'll see here that I've imported my photos to the Meetup Martinez Regional Shoreline into a directory for that same name. I always create directories of my events with the name of whatever it was that I did. So here's got Sutro Baths or whatever. So here are a bunch from the Martinez Meetup that I had a while ago. Let's just say that I wanted to resize one of these files that I've already worked on. You'll see this is a Photoshop file. When I hover over it, you'll see the PSD extension. But I've, I'm done with it. I'm happy with the image, and I just want to resize it and rename it to a JPEG so that I can email it or post it to Facebook or whatever I want to do with it in a smaller size. So it doesn't. Uh, what I'm going to do it does not change this Photoshop file at all. It just puts a copy renamed as a JPEG extension with the parameters that I've requested, like resizing, and it doesn't change the original file. So basically all I do, and I'll show you how, to, how this works in a minute, but I want to just show you how quick this is. All I do is I click and I drag it to this particular one that I have set up so that it resizes everything to 2048 pixels. I just click and drag it there. And then I click on that, and you'll see there's a thumbnail of this PSD. It asks me new photos to publish. So then I go up here and I click Publish. And then it's done. It changes this to Publish Photos. And you'll see it's still a PSD file. But what it did is it looked into the parameters that I have set up for this, and it put a JPEG in this directory. Let me go and show you where that is on my computer. I'm going to go down here where I have a shortcut to this directory, and you'll see that there's the, the image right here, and it's changed it to a JPEG. And it is 2048 pixels long. I could open up in Photoshop and show you all that, but it, you can just trust me that it, that it has been resized. So that's pretty cool. Now it's ready to post or email or whatever I'm going to do with it. Um, you'll see here that I have a, a bunch of these different services. They're called Publish Services, by the way. And one uh, here, I have this one, which when I drag the photo into this location, it only just changes the JPEG, uh, changes the uh, file extension to a JPEG, and it strips out all the metadata, and that's all it does. And now I use this for posting to my website because I want full size to my website. But anyway, this is the one that I have set up for when I, uh, where I post things to Facebook or email things. And basically the reason why you'd want to resize things to smaller uh, size is you don't want people stealing your photos. If they're a huge size, people can steal them and blow them up. And Actually, I don't really worry about that too much. Um, the other thing is the emailing thing. Is if I want to email multiple photos and they're all huge, I'm not going to be able to do that. It, email won't let you do, I think, more than 25 megabytes or gigabytes, uh, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, also for posting to Facebook and things uh, or to social media. I want to resize them smaller. Also to the meetup group, uh, I like them resized smaller because when a bunch of people I have a big meetup and if everybody were to, re were to post large size photos, scrolling through them would take a longer time to each photo would take a little bit of time to load up on the screen and that's kind of a pain when you just want to flip through you know, the photos and look at them. So having them smaller, it really optimizes your uh, everything, and it works better when, you, when you're uh, doing all those things. So anyway, um, the way you do this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this photo, and I'll show you how to do all that later, but let me just delete that. The way you're going to do this is you're going to go to this Publish Services, and you're going to set up a new Publish Service by clicking the plus sign and going to the Publishing Manager. You'll see here are all my published services, plus they have some defaults in here. I don't use the defaults, by the way. I like to resize my photos and manually post things. I don't like anything automatically going anywhere. It's just, uh, I've had problems with that in the past, and I've learned my lesson. But anyway, I have some, here's that full-size one. Uh, the top one is the 2048, and I have a couple others. I do have one for Meetup. Um, but anyway, what you'll do is you'll go Click on that plus sign, get this publishing manager up, and go down here and click add. This is always going to be your default. It's going to be your hard drive. 
and then give it a name. Let's call it testing for this purpose and create. So now it's got this one called testing and you're going to say where do you want those uh, files to be. Um, so you can choose your uh, directory that you want it to be in and maybe I want mine to be in a folder called testing so let's do that. I'm going to choose that folder it says uh, that right there. You can put it in a subfolder if you want. Uh, this is always the default. It renames it to the file name so whatever your file name was, your Photoshop file name or your raw file or whatever it is it's going to just use that same name and then give it a JPEG extension. There are other options and you can explore those later, but I like file name. Um, video I leave blank. Image format, um, you have a few selections. I like JPEG. Quality high, a few selections here. I like sRGB. And then if you scroll down, here's your opportunity to resize, to tell it what size you want the photo. So you click that, and I always like long edge. Click don't enlarge. And you can click, click uh, type in the size that you prefer here. You can do any size you want. Um, I put in 2048, <clears throat> resolution 72. I leave output sharpening blank because I've already sharpened it to the way I like, and I don't want Lightroom to do anything more to it. Metadata, I've elected to select copyright only. This uh, copyright only is coming from my camera where I have set up a copyright in my camera so that it puts it into the metadata. Um, so what this is saying is that I only want that in my JPEG. I don't want everything else in you know, all that other metadata. And then down here I've elected to uh, put a watermark in. You can explore that later, but you can create a watermark here which is pretty cool. And I've uh, checked that. So then you click Save. And then down here you'll notice that it created another one, the one that we just created called testing. So you know, if you double click on this, oops, oops, wrong one. If you double click on this, you'll see it brings it back up what we just created. I won't review that all, but we just created that. So here it is. So now all you have to do, it's there forever until you delete it. If you want to go up to any file, it can be a raw file like this one. Uh, and, a photo of, and a Photoshop file. Here's a Photoshop file. You can actually highlight them and you can do them in batches or one at a time and you can just drag down to that testing, click on it, it asks you, you know, here are the new photos you want to publish. You click that publish button. It's doing something on the upper left. It's converting them and looking at the parameters. Sometimes it takes a minute Sometimes it's really quick. It takes longer, a little bit longer with your Photoshop files. But you can see it's done now because it says published photos. It didn't really take that much, that much time. And you'll see it's still maintained that that's a raw file and still, still shows that that's a Photoshop file because those are the images you are working with in Lightroom. And you asked Lightroom to put copies of these as JPEGs in this testing directory, not to change these original files. We're going to go over here and check that out. Go back down to that. Uh, I'm going to go to the testing folder in here because that's where we set up, right? And here are the photos. Here's the one from, well, there was another one in there, I think, from a test that I was actually doing before. But here are the two that we just put in there. So you'll see that they're, they're all ready to go, and they're a much sm smaller fi uh, file size, too. So if you want to then Let's say you've done your posting to Facebook and your emailing, unless you just want to delete these from this testing directory, you would just go ahead and highlight whatever ones you want to delete. If you just want one to delete, you just highlight one of them. But if you want to delete both of them, you, you just click both and highlight them. And then click your delete key and it will say deleted photos to remove. It's asking you, do you want to delete these? Not from your original import but just from that directory as JPEGs. You want to delete those JPEGs, then you say publish, and voila, they're gone. So if you went back to your directory, we're going to go to that testing directory again, you'll see the only one left is that egret. The other two are gone. However, if you go back up to your original import directory, you'll see that those two photos are still there. The Photoshop file is there and the raw file is there. So that's how you do it. Pretty simple, really. If you have any questions, 
you can just contact me on the link and if you have you know just shoot me an email or whatever and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.